I am recording. Okay. This time I remembered. Okay. Uh, top. Okay. Now I'm going to remember. Huh. Top. There we go. Okay. So. I'm going slow speed right now, half speed. Only had one coffee. So looking at this thing a few minutes ago, I was thinking maybe. Well, first thing is I gotta I have to tape it down. It's just if you look at this, this is the problem. See? So I'm gonna have to tape it down. <clears throat> I'll just tape it down in bits, then eventually I <laughs> do it everywhere. Because it needs it. This this taping is actually gonna hold because I'm curving it around. Well, I don't want to speak too soon, but a feeling it probably will so as I'm taping it what I'm thinking about is maybe this is water and it'll reflect down and then finally I can do Mark's flat rocks he's bugging me forever for saying damn flat rocks and that's sort of like a rock isn't it so maybe this will be water maybe maybe will maybe won't Wait, oh, let me just check to make sure that this thing's working. So I'm recording. I think it's July 24th, 9.55 a.m. Wait, I think, um, yeah. I don't know what else there is to say. Let's see if Facebook's working. We know YouTube's dead. Okay, so it looks like I'm live on Facebook, but there's no one there. That's okay. Y'all probably got jobs. Yeah, I got gerbs. You'll have to work at your gerbs. Oh, look. See, I spoke too soon. It's this little flip flap peeled off because this is a painter's tape, like actual paint, like painting the wall tape. So it's, it's, the adhesiveness is very light. So you can peel it off easily. And to be honest, I didn't buy it on purpose. For, I just had, I can't, I thought I'd just experiment with this tape. I can't even remember what kind of like art tape there is, to be perfectly honest. Maybe you're supposed to use painter's tape. But I got a roll, so I'm going to use it and I'll figure out. Yeah, look at it. It pops off a bit. Let me try let me just try to a heavy, a thicker amount. I don't want to go too thick because it'll cover up the white of the paint. And there'll be a solid line there. Hmm. See, this, I knew it. I just start with a little bit because I'm hoping the middle amount work, then end up doing the whole damn thing. I'm very predictable in my extreme laziness. Look at that. Okay. Over here. Over here. Oh, see it popped up, you little son of a gun. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> it's like that. I'm going to end up doing the whole thing. So stupid. Me so stupid. That was the worst character that was ever invented. Jar Jar Banks. Me so stupid. Misa, Misa, whatever. That was like, felt like it was made by a bunch of marketing people who thought, hey, let's add a wacky character. We're gonna sell a lot of merchandise. People love wacky characters. I know, let's do a modern day goofy demographic show that blah, 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 blah. Bet you I'm right. I bet you it was a bunch of marketing twerps 
looking at spreadsheets. We're going to make X millions of dollars with this new Jar Jar Banks intellectual property. We can do mugs, t-shirts, even rides with our affiliate programs. Okay. <clears throat> Blow my nose, blow my nose. Wait, no, oh, my camera's moving. I gotta, I gotta get better tape. Literally being held together by some tape. So I gotta mind, be mindful of the fact that it's slowly gonna move down. Okay. All right. So what was I blabbing about before? Maybe do it like a lake. Like a lake. Yeah, like what if this was a lake? Okay, first of all, I don't like these three bumpy hills. They look too contrived. Or maybe do they? Maybe, maybe they should be. I don't know. The shapes are too perfectly rounded. So let's just play a bit. Let's see if I can turn this frown upside down. So. Let's just say, I think the composition would look nice if this was like a lake. Like if it was like right here, here's the, here's that. No, okay, feels good if that's the water, I think. Morning has broken like the first morning. Is that how that song goes? Hey Mark, what's up Mark? I just mentioned you a second ago. I forgot what was I talking about. I started a video and I actually mentioned you. Oh yeah, I remember, haha, <laughs> look. What does this look like to you? Flat rock, look at that. This has the potential to be a flat rock, my friend, just for you. Maybe, maybe there'll be even two flat rocks. Look, two. Two flat rocks for Mark. Look at that. Now, if it was water, how would they reflect? Would they be immediately reflected below? I don't know. It's a good question. Not a great question, but a good question. Okay, so let's just try to see if I can have some... Like, what is this place? <laughs> I don't know. I want to do those, those, my birthday today. <laughs> All right, fine, I will. Fine. Can't deny someone on their damn birthday. I'm going to call this Flat Rocks. Flat Rocks to shut Mark up. How about that? Bunch of goddamn Flat Rocks to shut, to, to, to make Mark happy and, Stop yapping about it. Dot com. Morning has broken like the first morning. What does that even mean? Is that the lyric? Morning is broken like the first morning. Oh, maybe I'll make three rocks. Look at that. Three rocks. That are also reflected in the cool morning mist. Morning has I have, in fact I even have this song ready to go. It's just in time for me to be banned. I'm banned from YouTube. Let's get banned from Facebook too. Fuck it. Ban me. I don't care anymore. Well, I do care because I want to be able to connect with people, but I don't want to empower these social networks, which why why can't I it's just oh, a 30 second ad. Good thing I'm not listening to it. You waste your money on me. Don't play those ads. I'm not going to pay attention. You got to find a better way to sell stuff. What up? Hey, you know the Quebecois is waiting for his flat rocks to, to shut Mark up. We'll send address and messenger. All right, man. Done deal. Okay. I got to finish the goddamn thing first for crying out loud. Okay. Morning has broken like the first morning 
Blackbird has spoken. Blah, 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 blah. My first cadeau of the day. I like the cadeau and I like my hot dogs because I am French Canadian. Do you remember Kretchen? Fuck, he was awesome. Remember the way he used to talk? He had his total, total mouth to the side. And, uh, and remember that one time someone broke into the, whatever the hell, what's that, whatever our, our, our version of the White House I don't know where wherever Christian lived. Somebody broke in. For those Americans who don't know this, we had a prime minister named Jean Chrétien, and he was awesome because the way he talked. To be honest, I was a little young, so I don't remember his politics, but he's French Canadian. Anyhow, <laughs> one time someone broke in to like basically where him and his wife were sleeping, and I think he beat the shit out of the guy or something. There was something along those lines where he didn't fuck around. The prime minister like totally. Like someone, imagine that, someone breaking into the White House and creeping into the president's um, bedroom. And then I think there was another incident too where where uh, Christian was like on the road, like just walking down the street waving to people and someone went up to him and he just like tossed him aside or something. That was so cool. Hey, I'm John Christian. And I'm making fun of Mark because he's French-Canadian. My... His wife took an Eskimo sculpture to defend them. Oh, is that right? So, I like how you spell Eskimo. That's so French Canadian. Esquire. Esquire Mo. <laughs> so, you remember that too, eh? I wonder when that happened. That was probably like the 80s, probably. Jean Chrétien. And Jean Chrétien. Met the guy. Oh, that's cool. I bet you who would have been pretty congenial, eh? Of course you met him on a ski trip. Of course. What else would you do? Snowshoeing. Maybe you met him snowshoeing. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go to Montreal soon to see my buddy. He lives in Montreal, but he is. Holy fuck! I can't remember if he's Quebec, Quebecois, or France French. Oh my god! Like one of my very best friends, he's French. And I know he lived in Lyon for many years, but that was because of work. I think he. I can't. I don't know if he's from Quebec or France. That's so weird. That's crazy. I gotta figure. Want to sit down and eat in a restaurant, but the waitress said no? Why not? Wait, you wouldn't let you sit down or wouldn't let Jean Cartier? Probably because people are pissed at him for something. I'm not finding the green that I want. And it's beginning to really bug the shit out of me. There's a certain green I need right now. Fine, I'll paint it. Jean! Jean! Nasiete, nasiete toi! It's something like that, right? Jean Cretin? Oh, no, no, no. Tu ne peux pas. Tu ne peux pas. Assieds toi ici. Esti tabernac. Coles. I think I did my right swearing. That's, that was my attempt at swearing in French. Did you know that the French swear words are are all religious based? Coles or something like that means like chalice. I forget. I know SD is like the equivalent of like shit. Tabernac, SD, coles. I can't remember the other ones, but they're pretty damn funny. It just it's it's so bizarre. Like it's like in English, it's like what chalice? Uh, How is that offensive? But apparently.
Okay, so we gotta make some sort of pathway, like, you know, like, we gotta, we gotta get a sense of depth. Through these. Okay, maybe. If something I gotta. Who knows what's gonna happen here? So this is gonna be. Oh, define it nicer. This is gonna be the. Uh, what's up? What the hell's the water line? Water line, line de l'eau. C'était le line de l'eau, mon ami. <clears throat> Did I just say c'était means it was? Ah, right, fuck! I can't speak French at all. I definitely do want to do these little. Boop, boop. Don't like the guy, but he's a right public. Yeah, that's the thing. I can't say, I can't say anything about his political leanings because I don't know enough. But he was a character, right? That's that was the thing about the guy. He was a total character. He was like a lovable character. He was like, oh, I think I liked him because he was a super grumpy kind of guy. He was like, he's like my 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 dream personality. He seemed like an honest character. He seemed like an honest character. He was like a scrappy kind of guy. I gotta read up more on him. I don't know enough about Canadian politics than I should. Jean Chrétien. Okay, so we got so we're gonna have some war like um rocks being reflected in the water. Oh, could debate on that. I don't know which part. Wasn't he? Oh, whether he's a lovable character? Well, that's probably because he knew about his politics. I'm just talking about his personality. As far as I could tell from, you know... Like, I don't even remember when he, when he was around. It was, like, early 80s or something? So, for sure, I wouldn't have a clue what what his policies were like. I just remember the, the characterizations. The brief, like, weird memories I have. So, I couldn't... Maybe he was a total asshole. Yeah, of course you love the damn rocks. You're all about the flat rocks. Flat rocks, blah, 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 blah. Every day you get up in the morning and go, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, mon dieu. Je dois, je, je dois, how do you say I need rocks? Je dois avoir le, le chose qui est dans le, le fucking earth. Political politics, he was, he was questioned during, Gomer inquiry. See, you know more about this than I do. I am blissfully unaware. Blissfully unaware. This is a color I want. Sap green. J'aime mes flat rocks. <laughs> I love. That's my favorite part about about Quebecois French is how you mix the French and English together. It's like je femme. Je, je voudrais un un hot dog. <laughs> I love that. I love it. That's so funny. Okay, so maybe, maybe this is the path. Pathway to my heart. Boom, 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 boom. I am, I am Superman. And I can do anything. Boom, 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 boom. I am. So here's what I could do. There already is a kind of something this way. So I could do the opposite up here to build that up because I don't like that shape right there. So let's do that. J'ai besoin de roche plate. Thank you. Merci pour le français parce que j'ai oublié le mot pour le flat rock. How about you take your boat and fisherman and <laughs> that's what I think about your fisherman and your boat. God damn, trying to tell me to do weird shit. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you, Mark. I'm not gonna do goddamn fishing in a boat. That's right, you got besoin de la roche plate. J'ai besoin de la roche plate. 
Okay, so maybe there's like this bush here, right? I'm just mimicking this shape. Getting rid of that horrible farty thing there. Wait. <clears throat> what is this? Maybe, wait. Oh, it has to, it would come off like this somewhere around there. If I had a brain cell in my head, it would look, it would do something like this. Come over here, maybe. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's something. My God. Wait. Tu me nezilage, je ne peux pas comprendre rien de que tu dois dire. Qu'est-ce que tu dire? Qu'est-ce que c'est le naïs? Je ne peux pas comprendre. Je ne peux pas comprendre rien. Tout. What is Okay, my God, to me something la nazi. Is that to laugh? I hope it's to laugh. I don't know what the fuck nazi mean. means. What does that mean? I don't know what the hell. The Wait. Oh, sorry. I was looking at Nancy. Oh shit. Sorry. I thought this was all Mark. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, there's someone named Nancy that was actually speaking in French, and I thought that was Mark, so I was making fun of whoever the hell is talking. <laughs> Sorry, Nancy. I got confused. I still don't know what is, my God, tu me nai is la means. Don't make me have to type it into Google. I don't know the fucking all this googly googly thing. That was a funny line. Remember that line from Zoolander? Where he does the Lugugugli? Lugugugli? <laughs> he does a eulogy but calls it Lugugugli or whatever. Okay, we're going to do some Watar down here. Nancy. Yeah, well, you can't even speak English. Look at you. Nancy and are having fun with you. Mark, you, you're forgetting words from the language, from the English. See who's making fun of who. I know loud. Jesus, tabernacle. You know what you could do is. Oh. My God, you must be kidding with me. Okay, my God. Too many night. I can't pronounce it. Nice. My eyes are also going. I have the font like jacked up to 150%, and I'm still like squinting to see what how it is. Yeah, I love the, the Quebecois. Quebecois are like some of the awesomest people. You're all a bunch of funny fuckers. Funny sons of bitches. That's the way I like to say it. <clears throat> Quebecois are fun. They're like salt of the earth kind of thing. They're a bit kind of rude sometimes, sons of bitches, but I like it. Same with the East Coast. You ever been out to the East? Nice. Yeah, you know, well, I can't pronounce it. Just typing it again doesn't help me. If you also, I think the more east coast you go, the nicer the people are. And I don't mean nice like, oh, hi, I have a flower. Just solid ass people. Like, like when you get to Newfoundland, people are just like a funny fucker. <laughs> Moi, funny fucker. People are just super awesome. I used to do, I used to, when I was at art school, I, I started, uh, I guess more like officially started Taekwondo. I'm just trying to think if I did. Yeah, I was like in the, the Taekwondo club, right? And there was one guy, he was this huge dude. Like I was I was in shape, but I was like a skinny, skinny 19 year old. And he was about two years. He, he seemed like so much older. He was probably like 23, <clears throat> but he was a salt. He was like a football player solid. And he was a green belt. And I was like a white belt or a yellow belt or something. But he was the only one my size, so we had to spar together. When you get your yellow belt, you have to start sparring, which is cool because I loved it. Anyhow, his nickname was Noof because <laughs> he was from Newfoundland. And he was a terrifying looking guy, but also the nicest guy in the world. And I remember he had a spinning left hook kick, which was brutal. And I remember he would go in and we would constantly practice that over and over and over and over and over and you, you do this you do this thing where 
you have a pad and you spinning hook it, spinning hook, spinning hook. And this guy, it would be like, bam, bam, bam. The guy was probably, <laughs> he was probably only, he was probably like 250 maybe, but a solid 250 pounds. Noof. There are quite a few noof noofies uh, that I, I live with when I was in art school. We lived in the basement of this I don't even know what you do, like a dormitory sort of. <laughs> Fuck. And a whole bunch of guys were from Newfoundland and New Brunswick. And basically, I learned that we have rednecks in Canada, East Coast rednecks. I didn't know there was such a thing, but we're talking full on pickup truck with a shotgun on, on the back. You know, listen to Stompin' Tom Connors. And they taught me a whole bunch of Stompin' Tom Connors, such as. My baby's gonna drive me to drinking if she don't stop driving that hot rod Lincoln. <clears throat> this is what I learned at art school. <clears throat> that woman, that girl's gonna drive me to drinking if she don't stop driving my hot rod Lincoln. One thing we used to do is we used to flood the basement. This is so true, man. This is hilarious. So we lived in. It was called the dungeon, actually. <laughs> it was just a really gross basement. And we used to, uh, had a, like a, a communal washroom. And I think, I can't remember how we flooded the basement, but every, it was like kind of contained by about an inch between the back door and then the, the other entrance, which went into the mess hall of the, of the building. And what we do is we'd flood it. So there's about a half inch of water over the whole thing. And then we used to like basically just get down our underwear and we would run down the hallway and dive and slide. <laughs> and of course be drunk too. I wish we got pictures of that. Oh, we did so many funny, ridiculous things. Flood in the basement. I was doubled up with a huge guy in karate class in high school. The guy threw me around like an old rag whenever it was our turn to go on the mat. Yeah, I've got a friend. Well, I would say more like a work acquaintance that I kind of got to know, but I haven't seen him in years. He's a programmer, but he's like, he's a big dude. I had my phone I could charge. His name is Igor. And he is a, he was good back when we were together, but now he's like a black belt in judo. And I can tell you, man, that guy could throw anybody across the room in two seconds for sure. I think he does. Yeah, I'm almost positive it's judo. I just was watching him on his Facebook. So the guy's got like, you know, I don't know how many years. Back then, like we were pretty. Now, nah, he was probably better than me. Like I was good, but the guy was really dedicated. So I came from more of a, of a striking background. and He came from more of like a grappling background. And we both were taught for a while by this dude this Chinese guy who was a master, Dr. Michael Hui, I think that's what it was. And he used to take us to the park and he would teach us, was it Red, Red Army fighting techniques, something like that? He would teach us like these real world, I remember the moves even still too, like what he would teach us. It was pretty cool. So Igor and I would go to the park and we practice these techniques over and over and over and over and over. And it was just fun because it was just like, you are now second degree black belt. <laughs> that's what that's that, that's 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 how we got our, our 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 degrees for whatever they were worth. Just pointed at us and said, "Okay, you're second degree black belt." I'm like, cool. Give me a black belt. I want to walk around with this. I want to walk down on Young Street. And look, look at me. I've got a black belt. Unfortunately, no. Then there was this guy, Peter. Wait. Looks like morning. I'll put this one on our St. Joseph de la Revie place. It'll go there. I don't know what the hell a St. Joseph de la Rive place would mean. What is that? St. Saint, Saint Joseph de la Rive. La Rive. What is St. Joseph de la Rive? Is that like a church? Yes, this is morning. Maybe we'll call this morning is broken. Ready? Morning has broken. See blue, 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 
fresh from the world. Dun, da, 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 da. On the St. Lawrence River. Oh, nice. But what does it mean? Is it like you have like a, a, a cottage or something? Or is it, like, how do I pause the music? Cool. Oh, so you have like a, like a like a cottage, like a summer house or something? Is that what it is? I got, I got uh, my dog has so much hair coming off the floor. Saint Lawrence River. It is in my chateau on this. I have my workshop. That is where Mark's workshop is on the Saint Lawrence River. What do you got? What do you got in your workshop? Like, what kind of workshop is it? When I think of a workshop, I think of wood. You know? <clears throat> okay. Oh, wicked. That's awesome. What's what's in your workshop? I would love to have a have a painting studio out oh, in nah. by a place like this. That'd be a dream come true. Maybe one day, one day when I sell a painting. The day when I sell a painting, I am going to pay some bills. That is what I am going to do. One day I will pay some bills. Until then, tough titties for you. I don't know what that means, atelier. Atelier, then. I don't know what atelier is. Je ne sais pas le mot atelier, mon ami. A bit of painting, but at the moment building a mini. Oh, I remember your pictures. Yeah, yeah, your mini gallery. Mini gallery. Mini gallery. Mini gallery. I think some red might be neat. Mini gallery, a mini gallery, a mini gallery. Oh, I didn't know that. Atelier is a workshop. Huh. Atelier, 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 workshop, atelier. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but atelier is a workshop in French. Do you not sell your paintings? I can't sell anything. I can't do it. I am so bad. I have a, I don't even know if it's a phobia. I have to have someone else do it for me. I'd rather, I'd rather, yeah, I can't do it. I have a, it's, it's probably like one of the most stressful things for me to, to sell a painting. So, yeah. But I can't do it personally. Oh. I need to have someone else do it, deal with that shit. I'm not good about anything. Can I just tell you something? So I've got like, I don't like doing exhibits. I don't like, I, I don't like anything public at all. In fact, I've got to go October 5th. I'm doing an outdoor show. And I tell you every night, every, I'm like stressed about it. I'm, I'm dreading it. I don't want to do it. I hate the fact I'm going to do it. I don't want to like, 
I don't want to be personally involved in any of this stuff. It's the weird. I can't explain it. Like I'm, it it just causes me so much stress. Like I can't explain. I don't like uh, uh, like that one sh that one solo one solo show I had was great because I had, there were three people that took managed everything. You know, they took all the they did all the they did all the the, the financial stuff. They did all the invoicing transactions. They they did all the all that shit, and, and all I had to do was walk around. And even then, I, I probably needed to be seriously medicated. <laughs> I mean, I should have been medicated. So I appreciate invitations, but man, unless it's like so low key, I can, I can, if I could stand in a corner of the room and no one will talk to me, that would make me happy. That that's the kind of that's the kind of show out I would do, where no one would know I'm there. I don't have to talk anybody. I can bring my dog and play with my dog. <laughs> uh, I was not designed for for the selling part of art, and I still try. Believe me, I, I like I still try, but it takes a hundred times more effort probably than than a normal person. So I look for opportunities where someone someone can deal with all of it, and I don't have to like deal with it. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but that's just the way I am, and fuck it, that's the way I am. Okay. Now I've been like this my entire life. There's no, there's no changing. Trust me, I'm, I'm like you know how old I'm. Almost fifty. There's nothing gonna. This is who I am, and I've, I've accepted the fact that. That's just that's the way it is with me. I can't help it. I. Uh, this is my hard wiring, like. Next one in September 2020. Yeah, exactly. Like children. Yeah, well. I don't like the parties. I don't like the parties. I don't want to talk to people. They're so just I like being left alone. I love being alone. It's like my favorite thing. Or I like to be—I like to be around a friend who isn't talking. That's that's awesome. If I could be in a room with a friend and we're not talking, that's like perfection for me. As soon as you start opening your yapper, <laughs> well, the whole selling thing for me is because it's not like I don't value my stuff. It's almost like. I also like the there's a kind of a price range that's already been set by people I've sold stuff before. Like I've sold a lot of stuff. But for me, it's uh so so I can't sell less, right? Even if I wanted to. So I, that's why I'm like I'd rather just give it away for free than deal with selling it for like less than I think it's worth. And uh and to be honest too, it's like arts for like most art affordable you know you don't want to make it affordable that's just cheapens it it's a it's a dilemma it's no question it's a dilemma this is gonna be beautiful this is gonna be awesome look at that the fucking flat rocks are wicked finally get the flat rocks i gotta okay so i still have quite a bit to do I still have quite a bit to do. I still got to resolve this. And then the sky is going to come across and be neat. But this stuff is not bad. In fact, the rocks right now are probably the best part. Okay, so for the sky. I like that idea where it's dark and it becomes light. I've been doing that a lot, haven't I? Just dark and then light. So... Let's try. Let's see what happens when I do this. If I never go to a party or an event with a bunch of people again for the rest of my life, I would be completely happy with that. 100% <laughs> completely A-OK. -okay. I'd like just to be
Yeah, I like. I want to be like fuck. I'd like to be on the. I don't know if I. Like, I don't know if I want the Saint Lawrence River. I got. I have ideas of what the Saint Lawrence River might be like. But maybe like an offshoot. I think it's too big. I like more private, kind of like secluded lakes. That would be a dream. I think my only real thought to St. Lawrence River is when, so I went to McGill for a while and I remember driving there and I was taking the train and then you'd stop over at, is it a thousand, thousand islands? There's like a nice spot you could stop with picnic benches and it was really pretty and that's, ah, oh, thanks Mark. That currently is shitterific, but oh, it's actually kind of has a nice feel, doesn't it? Like, it's got a little bit of Group 7 feeling, but it's not really, and you can almost feel the water here, but you need we need to resolve this space because you're not quite sure where, the, I want to make it so there's a bit of depth, and you can sort of go off to the here, and there's like windswept stuff. I might have to do this after over a third painting session. This might take a little bit longer. Wait, oh no, oh fuck, I fucked that up. The sky's not appearing here. The sky might appear here, but not there, because that's reflecting here. Okay, so that was a bit of a fuck up. So this is that stuff here. What is that? What the hell is that stuff? Look, that's wrong. I'm gonna fix that. I don't even know what this thing is. What is this thing? What is this weird bush? I don't like this coming down here. I might have to change that. I think I like I think I like it more like this. So it's more like a path. Like this is like a uh, pathway down. Okay. I think it might be cool to And I don't mean cool in any sense like wow, man, that's awesome, dude. Like, wicked, dude. How'd you do that, dude? Dude, how'd you do that? Like, what are these things? Weird. Okay. Nancy, are you from Quebec, too? You got the... Annette is a French name, and you were talking the French before. Are you from Quebec? Avec la dog. Aujourd'hui, nous parlons en français. Parce que, je sais pas que. Pourquoi? Pourquoi non? I don't know if I like that. I gotta fix that. Find your way. You find your own damn way. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm talking about. Morning has actually you know what's kind of cool it is kind of cool that there's white here because imagine that might be the sky looking at all oh, that's beautiful that's beautiful that white let me try bringing it across a bit so it just looks more purposeful that's kind of nice that's a gorgeous allez mon ami laissez toi LA, let's, okay, go my friend, les étoiles, LA, les let's, the fuck is les étoiles, LA mean, LA means to go, but you just told me to go, LA mon ami means let's go, les étoiles, LA, what the fuck, je ne sais quoi, je ne sais pas, je ne sais, qu'est-ce que tu dis, les étoiles, qu'est-ce que c'est ça, je ne sais pas, all right, Holy shit, I, I become insane when I'm doing my art, man. I come insane in the mood. Okay, what? Okay, let's just chop that tree, that hill off. Pfft. Yeah, because that was always pissing me off, to be honest. It was just too, too mumpy. You got the mumps. Let's just, let's make these, 
and lines curving. Give it a little bit of the old Van Gogh, Arthur Lismer, the um, Awa Jackson action. Let's make this line really dark here. Let's and let's make a little bit of a crack in the in the rocks. Make that really strong for some reason. I want it to be strong. I just had a feeling it needs to be strong. <laughs> Morning. My parents are from Montgomery, Quebec. I was born in Ontario. <sighs> Go for it. You can do it. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken. I don't know the words. Don't tell me words. Okay, this needs to be artified a bit better. It's like this strange kind of foresty thing. Fuck, I don't know what else. Okay. Need. What if I did white with a pencil? Don't clack. Oh, don't worry. Those flat rocks are safe, man. Whoops! Oh, imagine that. I fucked them up. After all that time and energy put into a bunch of rocks. Sons of bitches! Dropping my pencil. Mostilo! Flatten that stupid hell out a bit because it looks so stupid than a stupid thing. <sighs> See, what I like here is I like the random effects, the mistakes, the happy little mistakes that happen. I just like going for it. Pew, pew, and then, then you sit, like right now, like you just sort of don't know. Like I like the way that thing peels off. And then, then afterwards you look at it and you go, oh, that's kind of a cool fucking thing I did there. Let's take a look. Or it sucks. Either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can kiss my ass. I don't care. Do, 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 do. Okay, we still need some work here. We still need some work here. Where's the white? I'm not quite sure. There's something. There's something not quite. I gotta make it more art. It hasn't it hasn't turned into art yet. It's close to art. What kind of pencil crayons? None of your goddamn business. I'm not telling what kind of crayons I'm using. Okay, I got these. I got these. Many years ago, I've had these pencils for like 15, 20 years. In fact, I kept their Prismacolor. is a Prismacolor. Can't even read it. Canada. Whoop, whoop. Go Canada. Here, let me try to take off the autofocus so you can see. This is what they are. Is it focusing? There we go. Prismacolor, and I've had the set, I want to say, since 19, or like since 1980. That's how long I've been using them. I've done hundreds and hundreds of drawings with these things. And I think up before, I was trying to find a date. I actually kept this box because this is very nostalgic. Look at all this tape, this, this 20, 30 year old tape that I used to put to keep it together. I mean, I bet you, here, I'm going to do a little look. I'm going to go to my. Um, I'm going to go to my desktop. Uh, where is the desktop? Desktop. I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to go to my website, and I'm going to go... Oops, where is it? Come here. I'm going to go... I've got some things pretty organized now. Things are looking better here. I'm going to go by process, by drawing. Then I'm going to go back to my very first drawings, like we're talking 1975. So you go like this, and I'm going to go to last. Let's time travel. I still have quite a few. I still have hundreds more. But I'm willing to bet this. This drawing 
of my parents' house when I was five or six was done with this. So that would have been, oh, I didn't put the year, 1975 or 1976. I'm willing to bet it was done with these. Isn't that crazy? This looks like it might be pastel. Or is it pencil crayon? Yeah. This I like this this drawing is kind of funny. I was how old was I? I was eight years old, seven or eight years old when I did this drawing. It's a picture of Van Gogh and I guess Rulin. I, I think I spelled his name wrong. But the what I liked about it is back then I was even a Van, into Van Gogh. And I was too dumb to even understand what portrait of the artist was. It's you know you say portrait of the artist, you mean you you're supposed to be of yourself. So I put portrait, so is it P O R T R E I? Yeah, I spelled it right. Portrait of the artist is Joshua. I put my own name. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. But that's a pretty good drawing for an eight year old kid. That does kind of look like Van Gogh. And I guess is that Auguste Roulin? I forget. Rodin? Roulin? I don't know. That's pretty good for a little whippersnapper. But but they were these things were drawn with I remember actually this I remember doing this literally and thinking oh my god this is embarrassingly shit and I almost threw it out I was just doing a little sketch and so I was nine years old and going oh that's so terrible I can't even look at it and I kept it all these years and even to this day the way I did the chin pisses me off it looks stupid the way the donkey looks like a cartoon character I hate it. <laughs> I was such a hard critic even back then. And I'll tell you something here. Let me show you my Spider-Man. I was actually proud of this one. Okay, this is not bad. Okay, this is pretty good. Too bad these are so faint. This is was good. This was good. It's so faint. And I don't even know if I have a... I don't even know. If you look carefully, it's my hands. See, I don't know if you can see, but I made up a waterfall and there's a tree and a sunset. It was my hands. And look, I put a wedding band on. <laughs> my hands drawing this this other drawing. That was that was ten or eleven, but I was actually pretty proud of this Spider Man because I remember thinking to myself, you know what? I'm not tracing it. I was so hard on myself, and I remember going, "That leg looks like you know a comic. Comics have a certain there's a stylization to comics with the musculature. Like look at the way there's the beefy part of the thumb and the two fingers together. Like this was definitely copied from some cover of some book, uh, a comic. But I remember going, you know what? I can do this without tracing. And I remember going like, wow, I was pretty good. I'm like happy with that. And I was 11 years old. That's kind of when I knew I had something. And this was a, I remember this thing. This was a, a drawing from a book. This was a sculpture by Michelangelo. And I did it when I was 12. Well, see, the problem is I could be 11 or 12. And I remember doing this and going, oh, I see what's wrong. I see what I did with the eyes. I put a dark outline around the whole eyes. And that that means I wasn't drawing what I was seeing. I was drawing what I was thinking. I also felt like the waist was too, too wide here and the hands were too thin. And then this is elongated, and I was going, oh, this was too, this was too shortened. But I was like, ah, screw up. It was like a, it was like a quick drawing, but not bad for twelve years old. I thought. Yeah, I remember this one too. This is when my family was living in. I think we were living in in Gord at the time, and this was like a. I like this one. I like the way this one turned out. So I was pretty young when I did this one too. I was ten or eleven, and look, there's a. French fleur de lis, but I remember looking. He had he, this dude. This sculpture had a chest plate, and what was cool about it was like that wasn't a stomach. That was actually supposed to be a metal chest plate. And I thought that was pretty well done. That hand is bad, but this hand's not bad. But going back to this pencil drawings, that's how long I've had. Oh, there's my dog. I remember this little doodle. This is just a stupid little doodle, but it was with these pencils. Some trippy little doodle. This is really small. I literally, I remember doing it. See, this is my my memory works. I remember doing this, 1980. And I was thinking about, you know, neurons and stuff. And like, what would they look like? And then it turned into some sort of weird, trippy, like, like spacey pattern, like um, 
like interdimensional kind of like pathways or something. Three by five inches. Yeah, see, three by five inches is really small. But that was done with, with, with these. Isn't that cool? That kind of blows my mind. It's like a time traveling doing this. I'm glad I took the time to do this because I get I get to sort of see look back in time. <laughs> I did this little drawing. It was based on a photograph because I won an art award, and it was a it was a book by Ken Danby, and Ken Danby was known for hockey players. But I still, even though I looked at a picture, I still liked the fact that you know, 12 years old, pretty good. I pumped out tons of these little drawings when I was young. You get a haircut for your wife? That's awesome. I would totally do that too. Take it easy, Mark. Oh, I never finished this drawing. I love this one. I was in the Dungeons and Dragons. So I, start, I, wanted, I, I wanted to make the whole thing filled up with treasures and stuff. So there's a dude here with a sword and he's standing in, in I don't know if you can see it. But down here, there's a weird frog monster. It was going to be just filled up with stuff, like a skeleton climbing out. Here's a skeleton with his still sword. And there's like a cobra, king cobra wrapped on a sword. Uh, there's a weird freaky spider thing. All right, sounds good, Mark. And of stippling. And I never finished it. So you can just imagine what the whole thing was like with all this gold and jewels and stuff. Because I was, I used to, I was 13. Yeah, this is when I was into D&D. &D. And I used to like read the monster manual and modules and stuff. I'm sure I have more. Mo yeah, this is just some random little sketch of a weird <laughs> reptile monster I never finished. Back in my D&D &D days when I was young. When I was young. Do I have any more monsters? I'm sure I've done more. I'm sort of just, I think I'm just turning like slowing down from this drawing so i'm just looking at some stuff oh yeah this one i remember this is actually was acrylic on canvas on a loose piece of canvas and i never finished it either and i remember coming up with a stylization for flames when i did this which is light going darker and on a hard edge with these weird little forky things and i remember i think actually no it was marker i think it was marker yeah, 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 it was a marker I was drawing on here. And I remember it wasn't turning, it was it was a pain in the ass because it was a canvas. And if you could look carefully, you could see the gesso breaking through. So I chose, I think it was some sort of marker. But it's not bad. Look at the little light along here. That was kind of fun. Maybe I will call Mark's Flat Rocks. Maybe I won't. Maybe, maybe go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll see. We'll see how it goes. I got to go with the, gotta, gotta go with the flow and see what happens. Oh yeah, this is funny. I was sitting there at my parents' house and they have a couch and there's that, this is a, a painting by a famous Mexican artist. And I, I, they still have that. So these are my feet and I was, how old was I? 13? Okay, well I was 12 or 13. I always choose, because I didn't know exactly if I was 12 or 13, I always choose the older age to be safe. So I was drawing my feet I even think they still have this couch. I think they might even still have this pillow. And then I did another drawing of it in the style that I was experimenting with, which is this style. I just started doing this thing where, where lines converged, it would go thick and heavy. See that? And I'm not sure. I think it's because I was looking at some of those, uh, who's that native Indian dude? Um, I was looking at what's his name. Uh, fuck, it's very famous. More so, because I looked at, I did some drawings that were like more so. Okay, I can't remember where they are. And I was just playing with stylization. Let, let, actually, let me look it up. More so painting. You'll see immediately what I'm talking about. Actually, you know what I can do? I can just, I'll find it. I know it's, it's here. More so, he's got a cool Cree name. Oh, well, maybe I didn't list it. Oh well. 
Oh well. This is a good. This is why. This is what I knew I could do realistic stuff. I was fourteen or fifteen, and I drew my left hand, and I saw all the little details. And after this, I was thinking like, people who do photorealistic stuff doesn't impress me because look, if I is as a fifteen, fourteen, fifteen year old punk kid, I could figure it out. It just lost. I lost interest in trying to be realistic. Okay, here's more examples of that style. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at this weird fucking thing. Look at this weird hand. But you can see that style where where the lines meet becomes thicker <laughs> with an eye. <laughs> this is when I was started doing animation. So these are actually frames of animation of a hand opening up. So each one is a hand drawing. I don't know if I could do it fast enough. I guess if I'm going this way, it's closing. Yeah, this is the closing. So if you were to go to reverse, it would be opening up. And then there's this weird hand bursting out of somewhere. How 80s is that? That's wicked. Okay, I'm, I'm just sort of tired. I'm just tired. I can't, uh, I gotta stop on the flat rocks thing. This is, this is what I got so far. I'll try to do some more later. It closes up. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take a break. Have a happy Wednesday. See ya.